heartbeat was just slowing down. And in my spirit, I cried out to God and I said, God, help me, Jesus. Because my family could not help me. The medications could not help me. The medications were making me worse. Welcome to Dancing in His Light Ministry. It is so good to have you again. And today I will be sharing something personal. Okay. And uh, the reason why I'm sharing this is because oftentimes when we're going through a hardships, we ask God, why me? Within the year of being baptized, I experienced a very difficult situation and that year was also the year when i was supposed to start college to start the program i was required to do volunteer hours unfortunately during those volunteer hours on a very particular day i will never forget that day i was unable to walk properly because i had injured my back when i reached home i was crying because at that time the pain was so severe i felt like my back was tearing off like it was in two i told my mother my mother took me to see a private doctor the private doctor prescribed medication to try and relax the muscle when i reached home i took the medication and i was saying yes hopefully this will help me to feel better so i positioned myself in the bed and i tried my best to relax and then i said to myself I, something not right i started to feel uncomfortable in my body i felt this heaviness come upon my body my heart started to slow down my limbs became weak so my arm and my legs became so weak to rest my back against the wall and i was breathing so heavy and during that state i still decided to cry out to jesus i was crying out and said god please save me you are the ultimate healer and your medications are without side effect. Heal me, God. Heal me, lest I perish. And while I was there and my eyes became so heavy, I could barely keep them open. I heard the Holy Spirit say to me a scripture. I asked my mommy to reach the Bible. And I went to the scriptures. Weak, you know? Weak. So with my weak self... I skipped through and I found the scripture and I read through Psalm 62 verses 1 to 2 says truly my soul finds rest in God my salvation comes from him truly he is my rock and my salvation he is my fortress I will never be shaken and it continued and at the end of this psalm it says one thing God have spoken two things I have heard power belongs to you God and with you Lord is unfailing love so in that instance hallelujah I want you to know that power belongs to God. God is such a marvelous and an on-time help. Because the time when I became sick, it was going towards midnight. It was so late. And back then, transportation was not so easy to get. And although I felt like my body was feeling worse after reading the scripture, at that point, I was unable to breathe. 
And then I felt my eyes started to get weak. And I could barely see. When I opened my eyes, I could only see darkness. My God. I was unable to move my body. Hallelujah. And I had to just keep my eyes closed because I didn't even have the strength to open my eyes. At this point, I could hear my mother and my sister in the background crying out to God. And I heard like my mommy say, Shani. Because she thought I was going, all they calling me, crying out to me. I could not move. I just felt my body, like life was leaving my body. My back was against the wall. I could hear my heartbeat was just slowing down. And in my spirit, I cried out to God and I said, God, help me, Jesus. Because my family could not help me. The medications could not help me. The medications were making me worse. I did not know I was allergic to that medication. My body was going into shock. That means because my body is so severely allergic to that medication, it was shutting down my entire system, even my heart was shutting down and my mother couldn't help me my sister couldn't help me there was no hospital right there and then and i mean i tried before and now this is the predicament that i'm in i was in a worse predicament although i felt life leaving my body i said jesus help me i couldn't even say it out loud at that point because i wasn't able to speak but in my spirit I cried out to my refuge. I cried out to my father and I said, Jesus, help me. And I heard them trying to call for a taxi to take me to the hospital. So after some minutes and by this time, you know, like, I was so weak, drained out, my heart beating funny, my eyes could, could barely open. The taxi man called and he said that he has arrived. It was just my mother and my sister now trying to carry my body. I was trying to walk with them, right? So there was one on my left, one on my right, and I could barely keep up. I was like this. And as they walk, I was struggling to, to go with them, to go through, to go through the yard. And I heard the Holy Spirit at the very moment when I was about to step out of my yard. I heard the Holy Spirit say to me, do not step out there. And in my mind, I'm struggling to say, but God, I'm going to the hospital to get help. So now I'm trying to step out there while leaning on to my mother and to my sister and i keep hearing the holy spirit do not step out there and i felt strength coming to my body so i became so hesitant but still weak and because they were carrying my weak body i had words to follow and i did not know god so much at the time I, I wasn't sure as to what was really happening because i have never experienced something like this before i thought that maybe these things only happened in the past so while i was while they were carrying my weak body to the car it was a long stretch and as they pulled my body and I was too weak to fight. I heard the Holy Spirit kept ministering to me. My, my head could barely keep up. My body was so weak. And I heard the Holy Spirit saying to me, do not go. By the time I reached to the taxi, hallelujah. 
and they were trying to get me to go into the taxi when the door opened when the farm matter of fact the door couldn't even open because by the time i reached the taxi the holy spirit took over completely and i was speaking in tongues holy tongues and the holy spirit was doing something so amazing within my body i could feel life i could feel i could feel strength getting into my body and now this weak 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 body became so strong when i say strong i felt the holy spirit ministering to my spirit and as i was talking in tongues as i was praying in holy tongues because the holy spirit decided to do a mighty work in me and my body started to, to become renewed i felt the pain leaving my body and i said to them i said i cannot get into that vehicle by that time i was able to let go of my mother and my sister i no longer needed their strength to hold me up and this man saw the power of god being manifested before his very eyes my mother and my sister saw a miracle being manifested before their very eyes mighty god and it's a little after i heard that the taxi man started to cry he was in such shock as god moved in my body i was led to walk back home i walked back on my own can you imagine by the time i reach home the holy spirit just took over and as the word of god says that when we speak in tongues it really it is really us communicating with god it is really the holy spirit ministering to us we are speaking heavenly language which persons are not able to understand unless there is an interpretation and i was there before my father as the holy spirit moved inside of my body and my father was just doing a mighty work when i thought it was over and i said yes lord I was not feeling any pain, the pain gone. I lied on my back and I was just giving God thanks and I was in shock because as I tell you, I was a young Christian. I have never experienced this before. No one in my family has ever witnessed this before. But God healed me and I was there lying on my back. I was so shocked. And then I heard the Holy Spirit say, you think I'm done with you yet? He said to me, you think I'm finished with you? So he was letting me know that the healing wasn't finished. He was going to do a complete work because that is who God is. When he delivers, he delivers perfectly. When he heals, he heals perfectly. When he saves, he doesn't leave any tables unturned he doesn't leave anything undone i felt a strength get inside of my body and i jump up off the bed and i started dancing i started moving around i felt this power in my body i could not keep still and then after a while I, I rushed to the bathroom and then i started to vomit out some white stuff started to come out of my stomach like all the contents of the medication that was left that was causing my body to go into shock the holy spirit said no this has to come out and that was the first time i was vomiting since i know myself I don't vomit because I just cannot bring myself to vomit no matter how much I try. You know when people say, you know my stomach feel bad, make me try and vomit this out and they make themselves vomit. That is not me. From I know myself, I cannot vomit on my own. I cannot force myself to vomit nor have I vomited spontaneously. Okay? So I rushed to the bathroom and I just started to vomit out all the contents from the medication. God, God basically just emptied my stomach. He emptied my stomach. He completely delivered me. 
when God completed his mighty work within my body. I started to dance, started to rejoice. I could not keep still. And as I danced, the scripture that came to me was that I have taken off your garment of mourning and put on the garment of dancing, rejoicing, praise. I couldn't stop praising God. My entire being felt so light. I felt so free. I couldn't stop rejoicing because I personally experienced a miracle. I was healed. God healed me completely. I wonder if you understand what I'm trying to say to you. That's why when the Holy Spirit said to me, go and read this scripture. And in the scripture it says, once God have spoken and twice I have heard it. That power belongs to God. That you alone, Lord, is unfailing love because God never did have to save me. He didn't have to save me. But for those who cry to God, for those who depend on the saving power of God, our times are in his hand. And God decided to tell that, no, not this time, not my child. For it is appointed for every man to die. And after death is judgment. When Jesus arose, he said, all power belongs to me. For at the name of Jesus, every knee must bow and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. And that night I was confessing that Jesus Christ is Lord, that Jesus Christ had the power to save. And I didn't even have to say anything, you know, because you see, by the next day, when I went out with my strong self, because I was no longer weak, you know, with my strong self and I was moving around, walking around and I went to visit my neighbor and when people see me, they couldn't believe that this was the same girl that could barely walk. When they saw me, they rejoiced and they praised God because they knew that I could not heal myself. I could not save myself. My family could not save me. And the hospital was too far and at the end of the day, only God alone of the final say. I want you to remember this. It is taken from 1 Peter chapter 4 verses 12 to 16. Beloved, do not be surprised at the fiery trials that has come to test you. As though something strange were happening to you. But rejoice in as much as you participate in the suffering of Christ Jesus so that you may be overjoyed when his glory is revealed. Acts 5 verse 32 says, We are witnesses of these things and so is the Holy Spirit whom God has given to those who obey him. Wow. That is the very reason why God allows us to go through these scenarios. God did say in his word that in this world we will have trouble. But let not your heart be troubled. For he is with us, right? And because he is with us, we too are able to overcome the world. The word of God says that we overcome by the blood of the lamb and by the word of our testimony. So press on my brother, press on my sister. Be like Paul who says that what I do, I forget about what is behind. And I press towards the mark which is the eye calling of Jesus Christ. There is a reward at the end of all these trials. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you so much for watching. It was so nice to have you. And I trust that my testimony has strengthened your faith. 
And please feel free to share this message around to encourage persons to keep trusting in God, to lean on God. For too many times we become so dependent on the world and forget what God can do. And God wants to remind persons during these times that he is still God and all power belongs to him. Okay, bye.